And now for the next part of our series, What Lies Beneath, where we focus on the explosion in U.S. natural gas development thanks to new technologies that enable oil and gas companies to reach gas deposits trapped deeply in shale. Tonight, CCTV's Jessica Stone takes us to Pennsylvania, the epicenter of the biggest gas boom on the American East Coast, where small businesses are growing again thanks to that gas boom. the banks of the Susquehanna River in the U.S. state of Pennsylvania lies Bradford County. Here, natural beauty exists side by side with nearly 2,000 natural gas wells. Bradford County has the state's deepest natural gas deposits found in an underground layer of shale known as the Marcellus Shale. Making the town of Tawanda and its population of around 3,000 ground zero for American natural gas development. For Howard Holdren's precision machining business, the discovery of this gas deposit was a godsend. <laughs> Repairing drilling rigs and parts has kept his business from going under when work dried up in 2009. And it was enough work that we could hang on. Did okay. we ever get those from BDU? And then in no. 2010 and 2011, it was uh, really crazy. It was like a boom town. Three counties away, Jim Graville feels like he hit the jackpot. When his electronic sales dipped, he decided to sell flame-resistant clothing. This is one of the newer styles of flame-resistant clothing. He's now a one-stop shop for oil and gas industry workers. People that come in for a cell phone booster um, see the flame-resistant clothing and are happy to find a place where they can buy it. Last year, Graville started taking this trailer to job sites, increasing his clothing sales by 20%. And we can actually have them be fitted out on the field and take care of a bunch of guys at once rather than have them one at a time come to our store. You're looking at about 500 plus drill units that have been created in the county of Bradford alone. Back in Bradford County, Daryl Miller, who serves in county government, says the gas boom has triggered development, seven new hotels, a new natural gas electricity plant, and two new natural gas-powered county vehicles. All this hasn't hurt county coffers. It's brought about a little over a million dollars of additional property tax revenue into our county as tax revenue, which is about a 10% increase. This engraving shop in Tawanda, Pennsylvania has found a pretty creative way to cash in on the oil and gas boom. Just look inside and you'll see a complete line of gas-related merchandise. The owners tell CCTV they've had four years of strong sales, but business has tapered off in recent months as gas producers cut back due to lower natural gas prices. Well, the market is kind of soft for gas right now. They've got more than they can actually sell. Howard Holdren has used the slowdown to adapt yet again. <laughs> Repairing well valves worn down in the process of sending chemical and sand infused water into the natural gas wells under high pressure. Uh, we're helping out now with rebuilds in valves uh, for fracking. <laughs> In the language of the Native American Algonquin tribe, the town's name Tawanda means burial ground. Did that include that gear? But for Holdren and his neighbors, fracking has breathed new life into Tawanda's economy. Jessica Stone, CCTV, Bradford County, Pennsylvania.